All right, class, welcome back. This is 3.5, and today we're going to learn about dividing by decimals. So put your name in the corner, and don't forget today's date. Okay, so um, one thing to be aware of is when it comes to dividing by decimals, uh, in grade 7, all we're going to expect you to know how to do is divide by single-digit decimals. So things like 0.8 or 0.5 or 0.1 and so on. Um, okay, and the way we're going to do this uh, is we're actually going to follow a lot of the same methods we used before for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to estimate. Okay, just to get us a ballpark. So 52.1, I'm going to think about that as being basically 52. And divided by 0 0.8, 0 0.8 is basically 1. And so my estimate is, I think my answer is going to be somewhere around 52. Ballpark. Okay, next we're going to solve. Okay, so when it comes time to solve, I want you to just go ahead and ignore the decimal points. So 52.1 divided by 8, just think of that as 5 two, one, and instead of divided by 0 0.8, just think of that as divided by eight. So maybe make a note to yourself, just ignore the decimal points for now. And at the very end, we'll figure out where our decimal point goes in our final answer. So uh, five, two, one divided by eight. Okay, first thing is uh, eight doesn't go to five, goes zero times. Uh, so how many times does 8 go into 52? Well, it goes 6 times to make 48. Uh, 52 minus 48 is 4. And then we're going to bring down this 1 to make 41. And 8 goes 5 times into 41 to make 40. 41 minus 40 is 1. And I've run out of digits here, but uh, I've got as many zeros. I've got like, my little imaginary zeros, which I can bring down to make 10 and 8 goes one time into 10 to make 8 10 minus 8 is 2 bring down another 0 and 8 goes two times into 20 to make 16 20 minus 16 is 4 bring down another 0 to make 40 and 8 goes five times into 40 to make 40 and I'm done so I end up with this, uh, this answer here, or these digits of, uh, let's see, I've got 6, 5, 1, 2, 5. And the question is, well, where do I put my decimal place? Uh, and this is where it's really useful to go back and take a look at my estimate and say, well, okay, my estimate was 52. Where could I put, where could I place a decimal so that it's as close to 52 as possible? And the only spot that actually makes sense is right here. So my answer is 65.125. That's the best spot in order to get it close to my estimate. Now, uh, just when you take a look at this, this might strike you as being a little bit weird. And hopefully there's something you notice. We started off, just go back and look at the original, uh, the original question, which was 52.1 divided by 0.8. Now, normally when we divide numbers, we end up uh, with an answer that's smaller. In this case, I started with 52.1 and I ended up with 65.125. So my answer actually got larger, which is a bit strange. So let's do a quick comparison here. Uh, it says use a calculator to find the following. <clears throat> so we can you can use a calculator. Let's bring that up. Okay. So 52.1 uh, divided by 10. And I get 5.21. Sort of what I expected. And uh, 52.1 divided by 50. The answer is 1.042. And 52.1 divided by 100. My answer is. 0 0.521. So this is kind of what we expect, right? As we divide by a number, you notice that we're dividing by a number that's bigger and bigger and bigger, and our answers are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. This is how we're used to dividing. So when we divide by a number greater than one, the dividend gets smaller. Our answer, dividend is just another word for answer when you divide, gets smaller. But what happens if we divide by a decimal number that's smaller than 1? So let's do this as a comparison. So uh, let's do this first one here. 52.1 divided by 0 0.1. 
I get 521. Okay, so let's try 52 divided by 0 0.05, 1042. 52.1 divided by 0 0.01, I get 5,210. So what you might notice is here in this case, we're dividing by numbers smaller than one, and the smaller the number is, the smaller the, the number that we're dividing by is, the larger our answer becomes. So when you divide by a number less than one, the dividend gets larger. And that's a little bit weird. We may not have seen that before, but it's an important rule to keep in mind. Okay, so whenever you divide by a number smaller than one, your answer is actually going to be larger than what you started with. Okay, that's it for lesson 3.5. Don't forget to do the recap.